for many people, Texas A&M is known for its vet school. When they think of Texas A&M, they think of the vet school. Uh, and for many, many years, we've been the only vet school in the state. So our present hospital is 41 years old. It was occupied, I think, first in 1982, uh, at a time when 7,000 patients a year were being presented for care at the hospital. The hospital was, was really built for 1982. It wasn't built for veterinary medicine in 2023. We've grown six times, and, and as you can imagine, the people that comes with that, uh, we had two specialty services back then, medicine and surgery, and now we're up to uh, 18 specialty services. The hospital is everything from a general practice that you would see with your personal pets. And then when you need more advanced care, we have all the capabilities that you could possibly imagine. We're a, a tertiary care facility, which means that they've seen a, a, their regular veterinarian, their general practitioner. Uh, then oftentimes they get referred out to a, a specialist. And when that specialist is uh, at a stopping point, then sometimes they come here um, for further care, things that they can't get anywhere else. Yeah, so blood clots, what's the section? We're a huge state, 30 million people. Um, with, and we only accept 180 graduates a year. So the students that we get have had to jump through an enormous number of academic hoops and commitments to be able to get here. So our students truly are extraordinary. It's been wonderful to be able to have the caseload and kind of get primary hands-on experience where I'm getting to do stuff and I'm you know still learning about it, reading all the appropriate textbooks and everything, but still getting that practical hands-on experience. Their day consists of um, receiving patients, so we average about 70 to 100 appointments in this hospital a day, and students are an integral part of that. So they'll greet clients, they'll take histories, um, they'll do a preliminary physical exam on their patients, and then they'll come back and share that with the veterinarians and again kind of refine and fine tune that plan um, to make sure that the students get good teaching value out of it, uh, then the real magic actually happens, whether it's lab work or um, x-rays or a surgical procedure or diagnostic procedure. Days are long uh, and very busy, but I think that we are very fortunate here to have a very busy caseload where we have a lot of exposure to a variety of cases. We are still facing a lot of limitations. You know, we often don't have enough exam rooms to accommodate our clients and our patients at, at times, and sometimes we're fighting over OR space and everything like that. We have a large number of residents and interns who are training to become specialists who will be heading out to provide advanced care themselves. And so we really do have a very large impact on animal health and people's dependency on animals. We, we know how much people depend on their, the companionship of their animals at, at home. And, and we, we like to think we provide advanced care, but with compassion. I grew up in a house full of animals, like most people who want to be veterinarians, and I had a little Barbie doctor play kit, and I, instead of playing doctor on my parents, I played veterinarian on all of the house full of animals that we had. I really love working with animals and just the compassionate care that we can provide, and plus our patients are really precious. I've heard clients say, um, gosh, I, they treated my dog like it was their own, and I would say yes. Um, this they do, and that, that's I think inherent in most of our veterinarians, um, they, that compassion. This, this is a, a member of, of your family and it actually becomes a member of ours. <laughs> Texas needs this hospital because we are the only teaching hospital in the state of Texas. We now have 
a new responsibility uh, as a school of veterinary medicine and as a small animal teaching and research hospital, not just to be another specialist hospital, but to be the place in Texas and beyond in the southern region where patients with the most difficult problems are referred and where research-driven patient care is provided. The state sees the need, the university sees the need, um, donors see the need for this very unique project.